Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hibba and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of Manchester. This video is for the slightly younger audience. In this video, I'm going to be covering five things that I think you should do at high school or secondary school if you know you want to become a doctor. Now, most people at high school won't really have decided what they want to do in their future careers, but I certainly knew in high school that I wanted to become a doctor. And I did quite a few things during my time at high school to make sure I did this or to get some more experience. And I think they played a significant role in how I ended up getting here. So this is why I'm making this video on five things that I think you should do if you want to become a doctor and if you're in high school. Now, the first tip is to pick triple science at GCSE. This is going to put you in a stronger position when you're applying to colleges to study sciences and also when you're applying to university as well. Not only will it mean that you have three science GCSEs rather than two like everyone else, but it also means that you'll have a head start on a lot of the content that you're going to be taught in college. For example, I did triple science when I was at high school. And when I got into college, I was being taught some of the things that I had already seen before, but those that were in my class and hadn't done triple science and they'd only done core science at GCSE, they were seeing those topics for the first time. Being familiar with these topics and having a better understanding of science at an earlier age will give you an advantage over everyone else who hasn't picked triple science at GCSE. You'll have a deeper understanding of all of the topics that are being taught to you in high school and that's only going to be beneficial when you get into college and also when you get into university as well. Number two is try to do some shadowing or some volunteering or some kind of work experience in the caring or medical field. Now I know it can be quite difficult to try and organize some sort of medical work experience or volunteering at this age but don't worry it doesn't have to be something extraordinary I would suggest writing up a letter and giving it to your own GP and asking them if you can shadow them for a couple of days even just one day if that's possible and that will just allow you to get a taste of what this career is like and whether this career is really for you if you start finding shadowing and volunteering opportunities like this from an early age it will give you more time to be able to fit more in and get more exposure to the career and it will also mean that if it takes months and months for you to organize some sort of work experience or volunteering then it doesn't really matter because you have plenty of time whereas if you leave this up until the days when you're in college or even just before you're applying for university you're unlikely to find something that's going to be valuable in in terms of volunteering or shadowing also ideally you'd want to know whether this career is for you earlier rather than later when i was in high school i was in year 10 when i applied for a taster program called the taste of medicine and i was actually given a place and i got the letter and the letter said that i was given a place on the course for two years later which meant that the course was so fully booked and popular that there was a waiting list of two years which is why I suggest starting early. Next is when you're making your A-level choices, make sure you pick at least two sciences in your A-levels. Most universities will require at least two sciences at A-level and most of them will actually ask one of them to be chemistry. If you want to be certain, then make sure you check out the websites of all the universities that you think you want to apply to and make sure to read through their entry requirements and see what they want for their A-levels. All three of them don't have to be sciences, so you still have one A-level that you can do completely outside of science, such as a language or English or anything like that. But just make sure because you don't want picking the wrong A-levels to be the reason that you don't end up doing medicine. Next is make sure you study well for your exams. I know at the time it seems like everyone's just fooling around at high school and no one's really taking it that seriously but your GCSEs are looked at with very high importance to rank you in the selection process for medicine and to decide who to give interviews and places to. So make sure you're aiming to get those A stars and A's or those eights and nines. That's not to say that people with B's won't get into medical school, but you want to be aiming as high as possible and put a lot of work and effort into your GCSEs because you're only going to do them once. You might as well put the work in now and not have to look back. The last tip is to follow any doctors or any medical students or any medical applicant advice pages on social media. This, like the volunteering, is just going to help you get a taste of what medicine is like, what being a medical student is like, and it will help you decide whether or not this is something that you really want to do. I know when I was at high school, I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos. I used to uh, follow the days in the lives of medical students and just to see if I can picture myself doing that and if I can picture my life in that way in the future. That's it for this video. I hope it was useful. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.